I first of all, I want to give an update on this prototype here, which is um, three years old now, from September 2021. And it was a, a helpful, I think it's been a helpful tool to visualize what the interaction around the block clock would be. So this had a static size, but it allowed you to switch back and forth between, um, you know, the different, see how the different values are reflected in the UI. What happens if you pause it? What happens if there's an error? All this stuff. And then there was already kind of the hint of, of um, different uh, widgets in here. And this widget design has been around for a time. Some time we've also, of course, in the design docs documented it here. Um, same with kind of this layout system. But the, I thought I'd update this prototype a little bit. Um, so this is the, the, the new version. The block clock's basically just gotten bigger same thing otherwise then there are these four um, widgets around it and they're all a little bit uh, interactive now based on the old designs so here's a supply widget you can just kind of hover around see based on different block what the um, supply and the inflation would be uh, then transactions you can just hover i think it shows the last i don't know maybe 20 blocks or so then fee rates, nothing you can do here. It's just thinking maybe it picks, I don't know, X block, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, just kind of shows the rate. Maybe it can be more detailed, not quite sure. And then the mempool here. Um, so um, uh, the panel here at the top also still exists. Like the panel here on, on, the, on the left, now it's an overlay. So you can just also kind of click around and see how the different uh, states pan out mess around with things, see how the UI reflects the different states. And um, then the widget system, the way I think it, it would work out is that every widget has kind of an automatic layout and you can pick which one you want. So let's say here, I would prefer to have media and block time in there. So I can just kind of see you know, what that looks like. Or maybe here I want to have the, the dot clock and uh, for this one too, you know, when I um, switch around here, change the block height, you can see how that gets reflected instantly in the UI. Um, and then speaking of this little panel down here, there's this info section here at the beginning that you'll see. Then there's light and dark mode, which is now perfectly implemented. As you can tell, this icon here disappears. Then there's a layout switcher, um, full screen, and that's pretty much it. Uh, the other thing that I put in here, which um, makes it a little bit more practical, so we have dummy data here at the top, or I can connect to Bitcoin Core. So you can see as soon as I switch over, things just kind of break a little bit. That needs to be nicer. But um, here I'm going to connect to my local Umbrel. And let's see, hopefully it works. <coughs> and it did work. So now it's actually pulling data from my local Bitcoin Core node. So that's some real stuff coming in here. I can't guarantee that all of this stuff is actually accurate um, because it's still kind of experimental everything, but should be, right? Um, let's see, what's the, what are our fee rates again here? Yeah, that looks a bit goofy, but that's fine. And then here in the panel, you can see, so it's just, there's like a very simple queuing system. Every, I don't know, minute, it tries to reload data again, but it's not all perfectly. You know, figured out um, and then you can kind of see what data these are the blocks that it's already loaded from the back and this is kind of the some of the data that it's using to uh, display the widgets here um, so that's kind of it right that's a that's kind of how I see work out this um, this showcase panel a little bit and I think it would be cool if um, if we could show this at BTC Prague at the design track at the hack day, just have this on a, on a screen somewhere and it actually run maybe on an Android device and have the app running in the background serving as the RPC server <coughs> that this web interface then uh, pulls data from. I don't know how to build the Android app with an RPC server enabled. I don't know if it's technically totally possible, but I think it would be kind of cool. So I'd love to get feedback uh, on that one. Um, otherwise, just sharing progress. The code is not on GitHub yet, but if there's interest, 
I can certainly put it like. So just uh, let me know what you what you think of this direction for all of this um, showcase and digit stuff. Thanks.